It's been nearly 40 years since six year old Avery Peaches Shorts took a trip to a South Knoxville convenience store and never came back. Her body was found 13 months later. Her killer never charged. Tomorrow is Peach's birthday. She would have been 45 years old. 10 News reporter Mark Salinger spoke with Peach's sister about the cold case that may never be solved. Mark. Beth and John, Peaches never saw her seventh birthday. A killer robbed her of that celebration as well as many others in life. Four decades later, her family is left pondering what her life could have become. Time is no match for someone who will never forget. My name is Elwana Shorts and I am Peaches Shorts baby sister. Nearly four decades ago, Elwana watched as Peaches walked out of their Montgomery Village apartment on an errand to buy her mother a Coke. It was the last time she'd ever see her sister. I mean, my mama looked me out the window like, where is Peaches? Where is Peaches? As helicopters circled overhead and police officers walked the area, Peaches' disappearance triggered years of pain for her family. It would be 13 months before her remains were found. We was just crying. This is a whole lot of emotions. The 80s became the 90s, which turned to the 21st century. Still, no answers. Just a yearning for a closure that may never come. What was she saying? Was she trying to fight? What was her last words? What if she were still alive? Where would she be now? Would she have a family, kids of her own? She never saw age seven. Tomorrow marks another birthday celebrated at the cemetery. Please be 45. 45 years old. No one was ever charged. The person who dumped her body in the middle of a Blunt County field was never caught. I will forgive, but we will never forget. We want to know why. Tomorrow, the Shorts family will remember the rosy-cheeked six-year-old who ran around the neighborhood talking and playing with everyone. They choose to focus on those memories. They choose to never forget Peaches. Tomorrow is your day, and we will celebrate. Love you, Peaches. And investigators question one man, one main suspect, a man who had dated Peach's mother. He died recently, and the case remains unsolved.